The Four Sons of Horus are actually here, and this actually takes us back to our roots in original Yu-Gi-Oh. Don't make 30% of you that have not smashed the Elven crap on that subscribe button. Smash it so you guys don't miss out on more honest content. This is actually awesome support. Like, I don't even care like how good or bad this is. This is just really cool to be able to go back to our roots in Yu-Gi-Oh! And like, see some actual cool old support. So the first thing that we have here is Imseti Glory of Horus. This is going to be a 3,000 attack, 1,800 defense. Okay. So you can only uh, special summon this card with its first effect once per turn. You can only use the second effect and third effect this card's name once per turn. Okay. <clears throat> so if you control Pharaonic Sarcophagus, you can special summon this card from your graveyard. Well, that's, that's interesting. Okay. You can send two cards from your hand to the graveyard, including this card, add a Pharaonic Sarcophagus from your deck to your hand, and then draw one. This is actually, hmm, okay. So this takes care of the problem of this being a brick in your hand. Um, it actually gets it out, gets you a searcher, and gets you a draw. So this is effectively a two for two. I will say that we do need more little specific searchability options in the game like this. You know, it, usually it's just, you know, discard, you know, two cards, draw two. But a search into a draw is definitely interesting. If another card or card you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect while you control this monster, you can send one card on the field to the graveyard. Okay, so your opponent outs this. Um, it stinks it has to be card effect. I wish they just had the classic, you know, if this was sent to the graveyard by your opponent, you'd be able to toggle it. But overall, I, I think that's fine. Like, this being an ultra rare, it checks all the marks for an incredibly good card. You get the search for, I assume, is going to be the archetype card that you're going to need for the Pharaonic Sarcophagus. Um, and then, yeah, a very good search card. All right. This is... Do, uh, you know what? This is just Blessing of the Horus. This has zero attack, zero defense. How? Okay. You want to special summon this card with the first effect once per turn. You can only use the third effect of this card's name once per turn. So if you control Pharaonic Sarcophagus, you can special summon this from your graveyard. So this appears to be the same generic trend that we're going to keep across the board here, where we're going to continue to give you revivability so that you can, you know, keep bringing these out. As long as you can get these dumped in the graveyard, you should be able to cover your bases relatively easily, which is pretty good. If you control, uh, excuse me, gain 1,200 attack and defense for each Horus monster you control. So, it does include itself. Ah, oh, thank you. I am getting real sick of these terrible cards not including themselves in the attack boost. They better for a level 8. If another card or cards you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect, while you control this card, you can draw cards equal to the number of monsters with different names in your main monster zone. Well, that's probably not going to happen. We're probably not going to get any real value off of that, but I appreciate the fact that they, they did make this a pretty strong draw card, actually. Like, that's that's pretty decent. Next up is Happy Vanguard of Horus. So this is a 2400-1600 on level 8. So I guess everybody, yeah, everybody's level 8 here. You can only special summon this card the first sec, uh, and then you can only second effect this card's name once per turn. So if you control Pharaonic Sarcophagus, you can go ahead and bring this on out from your graveyard for free. It's free real estate. If another card of cards you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect while you control this card, target two cards that are banished and or in the graveyard, and either add both to their owner's hand or shuffle both into the deck. So they gave this a recurability aspect of things? Um, I guess. I'm not like... It's not particularly too crazy, but I guess. I mean, you can't... This is gonna... We're starting to take up the lower rarity slots down here, so... I mean, that's fine. One more, I guess, searcher is fine. And next up is the uh, Aegis of Horus. This looks like raw or discount raw, but it's got 2,500 attack points, 2,000 defense. You only special summon this card with the first effect once per turn. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. Guess what? If you control the Pharaonic Sarcophagus, go ahead and special summon this from your graveyard. It's free real estate, again. If another card of cards you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect, while you control this monster, you can activate this effect. Your opponent's monsters cannot target Horus monsters on the field for attacks. Also, your opponent cannot target them with card effects. Well, I mean... I guess for for a turn blanket effect, that's fine. But you know, you have one very good card, and then you have uh, some not very good cards. 
I suppose. Now, from what I was reading, I've already read a few people complaining about this. I've known these card is pretty, pretty good. Ah, yeah, and I see it right there. Pharaonic Sarcophagus. You can only use the second effect of this card's name up to four times per turn. What? Horus monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects unless they target them. Okay, oof, that's, that's really good. You can send one card from your hand to the graveyard to send one Horus monster from your deck to the graveyard. Now, hear me out here for a second. If I see this card, I can just discard four cards, and I can summon out all four of the Horus monsters. And none of those Horus monsters give me restrictions as to locking me into summons. I can use all of those as exceed materials. I can do whatever I want. That is busted. Once per turn, at the start of the damage step, if your Horus monster battles an opponent's monster, you can send that opponent's monster to the graveyard. I don't know what it is here, but this feels busted. All right, maybe it's because one card just lets you discard your entire hand and then go ahead and bring out four friends, but maybe, maybe that's just, maybe that's just me. Then we have this new trap card here. This is the Canaponic Protector. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. Continuous trap card, okay. Once per turn, your opponent activates a card effect and special summon a horror monster from your hand or graveyard, and if you do, this turn, you cannot special summon another monster with the same original name with the effect of Canaponic Protector, okay. If this card is sent from the hand or field to the graveyard, you can set it, but banish when it leaves the field. Hmm. I really wish that this support interacted a little bit better with original Horus. Like, that would have been really cool. But don't get me wrong here. Pharaonic, <laughs> Pharaonic Sarcophagus? This card is actually busted, but not in, like, the reasons you would think. It's it's just a four times foolish burial discarding stuff from your hand. If you can see cards to generate pluses for you, that's amazing. But, you know, this is a pretty big win for rank 8 toolboxes, right? Like, I actually fully wonder here what we'll be able to do with this. Like, if there's going to be some... I, I assume that there's going to be something incredibly cheesy with this. Because when you make something this generic... I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I, I'm expecting full videos of, like, number, you know, 100 FTK or OTKs, you know, Hope Harbingers, things like that. Uh, obviously, ending on certain end boards aren't going to be the craziest, but uh, you know what? I'll take that. This stuff is uh, this stuff is pretty interesting. So what do you think about these goodies? Please, leave a comment down below telling what you guys think, and I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day, guys. Peace out. Patrons. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.